You often hear how your website should be backed up frequently, and your web host probably does that for you. But with WordPress, it gets a little trickier because you should really be backing it up yourself before you perform any updates on it. But you should also, should also be doing those updates every chance you get, every time a new one comes out. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to really simply back up your WordPress site in a format that gives you all the raw files and raw database so you have exactly what you need no matter who your host is or what you need to do with it. Uh, there's some cool plugins that will help do backups. Backup Buddy comes to mind, Manage WP, Infinite WP, um, quite a few different ones. I'm going to show you how to do it just the raw way here, just to grab the files and grab the database and get going. So we're going to back up the, the Green Melon Media site here. Uh, so I'll start with FileZilla, my FTP client of choice. They have a Windows version, Mac version, it's free. Uh, certainly other good ones you could choose though. Uh, I've already got it set up in here, so we'll go in and connect to the site. Now on most web servers, you'll look in the public HTML folder. That's going to be like the root of your website is in there. Others might call it www.docs or a few other things, but we'll go in public HTML. And so there's all the files for our site, along with some other stuff I've put in there. Technically, we don't need to grab all this stuff. I know some of these aren't needed, but uh, let's go ahead and do that anyhow. Just that, you know, get everything, you know you have everything. So on the left here, I'm going to select my desktop, and make a new folder in here, call it, you know, Green Melon Backup. You know, probably put the date with it or something if you were really doing a backup. So we'll open that, and on this side, we'll just select everything. Again, we probably don't need everything, but let's just grab it all so we have it, and drag it over to that new folder. All right, now it's going. It's going to be a few minutes copying all those files. There's a couple thousand of them there for it to get, but it's humming along. In the meantime, we'll go back out to the web, and with most hosts, uh, at least any that are cPanel-based, which is your host gator, click host, you know, most of the big guys use cPanel. Uh, even if they don't, if you're with someone like GoDaddy, in most cases, you can still get to this little guy called PHP My Admin. And this doesn't let you create databases. There's different places to do that. But it lets you manage it, and more importantly, you can back up and restore. So in here, on the left, once you load it up, are all your databases. Uh, really, I have the infinite WP one, and then just WP for WordPress, my main WordPress back, uh, database. So I'll click on it, and here's all my tables and all the content in them and stuff, but we don't need to worry about that. We can just click Export. So we'll click that. If you choose Custom, it gives you all kinds of great options, but we don't need all that. Quick, we'll just grab every every table, every piece of data in every table and give you a little file to download. So we'll hit Go. And it'll take really just a few seconds here. It's downloading. And it's done. It's like a meg and a half. I mean, it's just nothing. It's a tiny file. So we can drag that out and put it wherever we want. And that is our database. That file contains your entire database in your hand. You have this one file now that could almost fit on a floppy disk if you wanted that contains your entire database. It's still important that you grab it the same time that you grab your files just so the, the files referenced in the database. If you upload a new image, it saves it in the database to say, hey, he uploaded a new image. And then here it is on the server as a separate file. So if you get them at the same time, all that stuff matches up. So in the meantime, the files is still humming along, another thousand files to go. So it's doing good. We'll poke around here just for a second. I'll show you if we wanted to, suppose we were playing in WordPress and screwed something up bad in the database, it wouldn't even load. We just made a backup. Uh, under structure, we could say, select all those tables and drop them. That means basically just delete them all completely. And then in our case, because we have that nice backup file, we'd say now import, choose a file, and sitting on my desktop is this beautiful Green Melon WP. So I could choose that. And then down at the bottom say go, which I won't do. I don't want to mess things up. But that would then restore all our tables just as they are. Uh, more importantly, if you have a need to move your server or have an issue, you can send that file along with all the files from your server to a new web host or to a, a decent web developer. And they can say, great, and go to town with that. I have clients send me that kind of stuff all the time. If they're moving from one host to another or something, they can just send me those. And I can go ahead and get them set up on the new one. So, oops. Uh, yeah, the files are still downloading here. But that's no problem. We've got, you know, we've got our database file, and then on the server, still copying in, but all those are on, on my desktop, actually, from the server, all those individual files. So if you have that, I mean, you're pretty much unstoppable. It may be a little tricky to use them again, but that is literally your entire site. Between the files and the database, you've got it all. You can move it, back it up, restore it, save it, whatever you want to do. You now have an excellent copy of your WordPress site. Hope that helps. Thanks.